Alright, this is part part one. One, two, three, go. Hello, I'm Tim Durham with Durham's Bee Farm in Walls, Mississippi. And uh, Durham is like Durham, North Carolina. Uh, if y'all have seen the last two, the two previous videos I made of this hive, this, maybe you can see the gallon. This is the fourth gallon of sugar syrup that I put on here. I'm making it thin. In other words, I'm not putting a whole lot of, uh, I'm not putting as much sugar in it uh, to stimulate the queen for laying. When it gets close to fall, then I'll put more sugar in the water, in the gallon. Of, in the gallon. Now, I just peeked in here earlier, and, and I should have, peeked in here three or four days ago and I'll show you why uh, all right uh, now we're gonna move the camera closer all right Still running, all right. Okay, here we go. All right, one, two, three, go. Okay, I have already smoked them, and uh, I took the top off. This is the inner cover, and so when you move, kind of move slow and gentle, gently. Uh, these bees are really progressing. They really are. Now. One just got me mm, on the finger. Uh, it's getting, it's getting, getting close to. Uh, it's darker. It's cloudy. So, uh, see how pretty that is. Well, a lot of bees. They're, they're really progressing. Uh, I'm gonna move along here since they're kind of on the ill side. Now, you see this comb sticking up on the inner cover? Uh, it, they just started that, and uh, it was hanging down here beside this frame. And that's why I should have checked it about three or four days ago and caught it. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut that off, and beeswax is just wonderful. Uh, well, everything about bees is. Uh, I get a lot of joy out of thinking I helped somebody in bees. All right, and uh, now uh, I'm gonna give them a little more, another taste of, of smoke. Now I normally don't do this. Now I'm gonna. Scrape out that propolis over here. Uh, keep your your propolis scraped out. When you come back, it'll make for a it'll make for a better it, be more enjoyable. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna pooch I'm gonna pooch these two frames. Oops, I jarred them. I'm gonna. I'm going to put these two frames over here. Now, the, the, the frames that I took out of the freezer, I put the fan on them and let them acclimate. And so, I'm going to get the two best ones I've got. And I'm going to put them in the, in the, in the center. Normally, you don't bust a uh, the the nest. The normally you don't you don't bust it. But I'm gonna give these special attention. And now I put two in the center, so the queen will have have them to lay in. And 
and then I'm going to put this one over here on the outside where they were building that extra cone. All right. Now we've got that done. And uh, uh, I'm very pleased. I'm very pleased how they're progressing. Now, uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to shake, I'm going to bounce them off that inner cover. So when I put the top on, I don't mash any, but I'm very pleased how these are progressing. I had questions about the queen, whether she was uh, doing doing a good good job, but uh, it appears that she is doing a good job. When you when you finish, be sure and take the lid. Now I didn't put the lid on this smoker because I'm just going to do this one hive. But be sure when you finish, take take. Oh, that flamed up on me. Um, be sure and take the lid off that smoker if it cools it, while it's still on the smoker uh, it's welded on there you can the only way you can get it loose is uh, get a torch and get it very hot and periodically uh, once every few years uh, you could actually burn the, the soot away inside and around the outside edge of this smoker uh, if y'all have any questions, go down below in the comment section. You can go down there and just say hello, whatever you, if you've got a, 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 an idea that will help beekeepers, you're well, very welcome to put it down there. That's what we're here for. Uh, if you have a, a question that you want me to address next time, then you can put it down there. All right. All right, now. All right. Now, this, all right, this is number three. One, two, three, go. Uh, all right, that, that concludes uh, talking about bees and uh, this little, Part right here is an a, a, a AD. Uh, so we've been selling bee products on the internet for several decades, and uh, 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 Durham's Bee Farm in Walls, Mississippi. And uh, when you call, most likely you'll get Tim Durham Jr. or Tim or Tim Senior. I'm sorry, Tim Durham Jr. or Timothy the Third. Two fine men. Now, uh, let me. All right. All right. Enough for that. All right. One, two, three, go. All right. Enough, enough for that. Uh, uh, wife never lets me go to the store. She didn't ask me to go. She didn't let me go, but the other day, uh, she was kind of in a bind, and she asked me to run up there and get one item. She figured I couldn't mess up there, and so I went in there, and, and uh, she wanted she wanted some chicken legs, and, you know, how can you mess that up? Well, uh, you know, I don't ever pass up a chance to have a little fun, have a laugh, you know, and... Uh, uh, I got up to the counter and I had a package of chicken legs and I asked the young lady, I said, uh, I was just curious, are these front legs or back legs? And uh, she looked at me and I could tell she didn't know. And she looked at the package, she read everything on the package and she said, well, it doesn't say, uh, let me go ask the manager. So she did and she come back and she had... Uh, kind of a scowl on her face, you know. She said, not funny. 
I said, well, I'm sorry. I, th <laughs> I thought it was. And the guy behind me, he said, not funny. Hilarious. <laughs> so, anyhow, I told the young lady, have a good day. All right, y'all, uh, go down below and click I like. I get a blue ribbon if you click I like. And, and uh, y'all have a good day. Let me hear from you. Bye.